27 news time is 554. Upcycling projects and refurbishing furniture are still big right now as more people get into it. I myself have been doing it for years, but I'm definitely not as good as this lady. Andrea Schneeberger is the expert. She co-owns Brass Tax in Sun Prairie, where they not only repurpose items, but they also can teach you how to do some things yourself. And so Andrea is here to show us how to use milk paint. So Andrea, I typically use chalk paint. I've never done milk paint before. Okay. So why don't you kind of show us what you're doing, also explain how the paints, they're so different than what a lot of people are used to with the latex and acrylics that you might paint your wall with. Right, yep. So milk paint is actually a powder paint. Um, you mix it with water 50-50. Um, so this is a chair here. We did half of it already painted, and then the other half we left raw wood here for Danny to paint. Um, so in this cup, we've mixed the water and the milk paint already. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see it's kind of a watery consistency. Yeah. Um, but we're going to have you start painting kind of on this side just so you can get a feel for it. And any kind of brush? Um, yep, we just use a purdy brush that you can get at the hardware store. Okay. Um, but use it just like you would a latex. It'll go on nice and smooth. Okay. Um, and get some pretty good coverage on it. But milk paint is traditionally used for more of that chippy, distressed kind of farmhouse feel to it. Mm -hmm. So completely different style than using a latex paint. Um, so as you can see, there's kind of five easy, easy steps. First, we um, prep our pieces. So we sand and clean with TSP. Okay. Um, and then we mix the milk paint with water and um, the powder. Then after that, we're going to paint it on. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to dry. And as you can see, there's no VOCs either. So you can't smell it. You can do this indoors. Yeah. Um, so completely different than a latex paint. And how many coats do you do? Because we don't have much time. But how many coats would you want to do? Like, how many coats did this you do over here? This is two coats here. Um, mm -hmm. Some pieces, we only do one coat. So the chair that's down here that's finished has one coat on it. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted that really chippy, distressed look. Yeah, and to do the distressed look, so what would you do over here for the distressed so look? So then we take a standing block, and we sand down and distress where we want it to have a little bit more wear on it. Kind of like on the edges yeah. and things like that. And then you always want to seal with a top coat. And that just depends on kind of what you want it to look like and how you're going to use now it. Now tell people quickly because you actually do classes with this. We do, yep. On the third Wednesday of every month we offer a paint night class. So if you're a little shy on starting this, you can come take our class. It's from 6 to 9. There's more information on our website and all of that too. Yeah, and we have a link already on our webpage too, the wake up page of WKOW.com if you want to learn how to do something like this. They have classes and there are other places in town that do classes like this too. If you want to learn something like this, go to the wake up page of WKOW.com. Thanks for kind of teaching us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. All right.